broke the $40 million mark over the weekend. Eric Childress, vice president of the Chicago Film Critics Association, is back with us for Movies and Money. Good to see you. And yeah. were you surprised at the numbers at the box office over the weekend? Yeah, I mean, you don't see two movies open to $40 million that often, especially at this time of year. So I, I think the, the, the vow we sort of thought was going to do very well this weekend it ended up being number one, like we said. The Safe House, uh, the Denzel movie, I think overperformed a little bit. People were sort of thinking around maybe $27, 28000000 million, and then it was up to 39 then all of a sudden it's 40 by Monday. Safe House actually mm -hmm. had a Sunday surge where yeah. people really turned out. Is that because people were talking it up? You tend to see Sunday, you know, uh, surges, you know, based on the type of films that are released over the weekend. You know, sometimes, you know, a genre movie will do very well on Friday, but then not so well on Saturday. All, everyone goes out to see it on Friday. Where else do you have some, a movie like Safe House that might have developed word of mouth over the weekend, so the Sunday, you know, business might have picked up based on that. Remember rule number one, you're responsible for your house guest. I'm your house guest. And look at these numbers overall from the weekend. The Vow bringing in $41.2 million. Yeah. The Safe House at 40.1. Journey to the Mysterious Island at $27 million. Star Wars Episode One, and that one brought in $22 million. Mm -hmm. So you have four films yeah. making above $20 million there. Yeah. Is it a sign the economy is getting better? Um, or it could just be that people just want to go see movies. I mean, the, the, these four movies this weekend brought the, the average of the, the wide release openings this year to $21.2 million. That's the average opening weekend right now for a wide release. So it could just be, you know, people are seeing movies that they want to go see. You know, I don't necessarily think it's an economy issue. It could be the weather. It could be, you know, nice enough that people will get out there. But it could just be, you know, people just want to get to the movies. I was one of those people. Mm -hmm. I saw the Iron Lady. I'm sorry. I loved it. Yeah. Eric, uh -huh. people applauded. Really? I wanted to report. I really? couldn't How many people in were in here. the audience? A lot. It really? was filled. Okay. I could do not. The front row was empty and that was it. <laughs> okay. I, I think it's an Oscar move. Well, it's, All right. it's nominated, but it's not going to win anything. <laughs> Let's also talk about Chronicle coming in at $12 million. Chronicle and Woman in Black had pretty decent holds considering the amount of money that was spread over those top four movies. Those are pretty decent holds. Uh, the holds this year haven't been that great, so we're going to see the Vow and Safe House are probably going to have long, long drops this weekend. And there's controversy with This Means War. This mm. is another big deal. They had a yeah. change of date. It was supposed to what, run on regular It was going to open originally on this weekend, February 17th. Then a couple, you know, about a month ago, they moved it to Valentine's Day. They thought, that, we're going to have a big Valentine's Day movie, this romantic, you know, action thriller with Reese Witherspoon. Uh, and then all of a sudden, last week, very, you know, you don't see l release date changes that late in the game, moved it back to Friday. I think they kind of smelled, you know, the vow was sort of creeping up on its heels. And I think it's actually going to hurt the box office that this means war this weekend. I wouldn't be surprised if you saw it as low as fourth this weekend opening. <laughs> Really? Who wins? I think, you know, you, you, you can't really dismiss this Ghost Rider movie. You know, I don't think it's going to do as well as the original opened to $45 million back then, but I don't think anyone's even thought of Ghost Rider since that movie came out. But, uh, the, you know, it's a comic book movie, uh, so I think that might just inch out the weekend. Eric Childress, Vice President of the Chicago Film Critics Association. Thank you, Eric. You're welcome.